The gas cap for my motorcycle has finally arrived. I got my gas cap. I got my gas cap. I'm going to put it on my hog. <laughs> Close the curtains. Dad's dancing again. You want to see some dancing? Just wait till you get a job and move out of here. <laughs> I love the hat, Fred. <laughs> hey, check this out. You know what this is here? This is an original gas cap for my Harley Davidson FLHP police special. This was made in 1971. Wow, that's older than me. And worth more. <laughs> Nothing personal, sweetie. That's just what the blue book says. This is the last part in my restoration. I finally get to take my hog on its maiden voyage. I got it. It's my day off. Weber residence. Oh, hi, Mrs. Abbott. <laughs> You know, I think he is here. And I bet money on it. Say a dollar? <laughs> nope. I guess I was wrong. I'll give him the message. Bye. Hey, that's my dollar. Of course it is. And it goes right into your college fund. <laughs> How much is in there? A dollar. <laughs> in 7,000 years, you can go to Yale. Kenny, you enjoying yourself? Yeah. Kindly remove your butt from the seat. <laughs> Children, what is the 11th commandment? Thou shalt not touch thy father's hog. Right. <laughs> now go work on the other 10. I am going to take my inaugural ride on this baby. <laughs> Soon, all you will hear is a loud, deep, thunderous roar from the tailpipe. Just like you in the morning, Dad. <laughs> Touché, devil boy. Now stand back. <laughs> Who wants to push Daddy to the gas station? <laughs> That's it, Fred. Push! Father Mike. Father Todd. Hey, I just had a great counseling session with Mrs. Peterson. <laughs> great. I'm sorry it sounded so harsh, but that's what the Bible says. It's the Lord's will. Now suck it up. <laughs> Mrs. Peterson, are you all right? Mrs. Peterson. Bye-bye now. <laughs> Todd, what did you say to her? Well, her dog Muffin died, and she asked me would she see Muffin in heaven, and of course I had to tell her no. Todd, sit down for a second. You know, it's a little insensitive to tell a grieving woman her pet's not going to make it to heaven. I mean, you could stretch it a little and give her some hope. Yeah, but what happens when she gets to heaven and her dog's not there? She'll be so excited to see Liberace, she won't care. <laughs> Father Mike, dogs don't have souls, you know that. No soul, no heaven. It broke my heart, but I had to tell her the closest that dog ever got to heaven was licking himself on the couch. <laughs> Priests occasionally take vows of silence. Uh, think about it. I just want to do the Lord's work, that's all. Do you know what would make the Lord really happy? What? Why don't you go and wash the church bus? I just don't see how washing the church bus four times a week is doing the Lord's work. Then perhaps you're not washing hard enough. <laughs> Okay, Fred, I'll take it from here. My boy, you've got a great future in something. Uh, Nance, you made a little mistake here. Uh, this receipt for motorcycle parts, you marked it business. It should be personal. But I can write it off as business. That would be dishonest. Don't worry. If anybody asks, I'll just say you ride the motorcycle to visit parishioners. You could say I ride the motorcycle to visit parishioners on my way to hell. <laughs> Oh, come on now. We're talking about the IRS. Their home office is in hell. Please, mark it personal. Okay. 
I was just trying to find you a little bit more money. Thanks. I was looking at your books here, and for a professional, you don't make squat. <laughs> yes, I'm an Episcopal priest. Not making squat is part of the perks. <laughs> now, I don't know how you raise four children on what you make. Uh, we cut corners, take the kids to discount shops. Every other day of the week, I don't feed one of them. <laughs> I got an idea. Why don't you just ask the church for a raise? Well, don't push it. We can barely afford you. Well, then just do what churches do when they need money. Have another bingo night or shake down some widows. Shake down some widows. <laughs> Let me guess. When Father Todd hired you, he didn't ask if you were a churchgoer. I told him it was illegal, but if you'd like to ask, I'd love to sue. <laughs> Never mind. Well, I guess now that I'm hired, it really doesn't matter. No, I am not a church kind of a person. Too many rules. Yeah. Don't lie, don't steal, don't kill. Who can live that way? Not me. Why don't you get that and leave the receipts to me? All right. When you're done, pack my bags for prison. <laughs> Morning, Bishop. Michael, your son did his interpretive dance for me. Oh. You should be flattered. He only does that for people he likes. I am flattered. Uh, look, Michael, we've got to have a little talk about Todd. There have been some complaints. Oh, Bishop, you know these parishioners. Quick to condemn off the top, but I tell you, Todd's been no, doing a... No, actually, I... Todd's the one complaining about you. That little weenie. <laughs> he says all you let him do is wash the bus. That's because buses don't have any feelings. I can't let them near the parishioners. Might I remind you, Michael, that you rubbed a few parishioners the wrong way when you started? Remember your first sermon? Let's kick Satan in the head with a steel-toed boot. It was a strong sermon. I, I paid for the new pulpit. <laughs> Michael Todd is a fine young man with a dedicated faith. I think you just need to be more objective about him. Keep an open mind, like I do. Hi, Uncle Pete. <laughs> Yo, Petey! around the block are you ready yeah. let's go your motorcycle's gone gone <laughs> kenny kenneth james what's that feeling about his motorcycle's gone you know what that means fred somebody's going to die <laughs> now uh Dad's so mad, I bet the next person he sees he rip their head off and set their neck on fire. Ah! Kenny, have you seen my motorcycle? Yes, Dad, it's the most beautiful machine God ever made. No, no, it, it, it's gone. Do you know anything about that? Dad, get a grip. I didn't take your stupid bike. It's not stupid. <laughs> it's an American classic. <laughs> Theft. Yes, officer. Someone stole my bike. I'm 45. <laughs> yes, I'll hold. Hey, I picked up your robes at the dry cleaner. They couldn't get that jelly stain out, but they wrote you a poem. We rubbed and scrubbed as hard as we could, but I'm afraid that stain, it's in for good. I love those guys. <laughs> not now, Todd. I'm on the phone with the police. Someone stole my motorcycle. Your motorcycle is not stolen. I moved it to wash it. Thank God! Well, where is it? Out front? I was just out front. It's not there. What? It's... it's not there. I said that. Someone has stolen your bike. I also said that. Well, then I just don't know what else to say. Good. Don't say anything. Anything else you say would only make me angrier. What's going on? My vintage Harley was left in the street by Uncle Pete's favorite nephew here. I was just trying to help out by washing it. Oh, that's so sweet. I know. Tell him. <laughs> you know what would be really sweet? Why don't you just put my helmet out there? I'd hate for that crook to have a head injury. <laughs> oh, now, come on. Give him a break. He just made a little mistake. Everything he does is a mistake. Like hiring a secretary we can't afford. Hey, don't take this out on Nancy. Oh, stay out of it. Don't yell at Todd. You stay out of it, too. I don't want to hear another word from either one of you. Fine. Fine. Not very Christian, but fine. <sighs> yes. I'm sorry. You're right. I blew up. 
I know anger is not very productive. Believe me, I pray every day for the strength to overcome. Apology accepted. Apology accepted. Okay. Let's calm down and think this through. Whoever took the bike must have had a, a, a forklift, a pallet, a truck. You know, because you can't get it started without the key, right? Actually, thinking back, the key, yeah. <laughs> you left my bike on the street with the key in the ignition? I've left my keys in my car lots of times. You drive a hatchback. Who'd want it? <laughs> oh, yeah? I no longer accept your apology from before. It goes for me, too. Oh, no, no. You don't get to take anything back. All you get is to take a hike. Out. Leave. Now. Fine, but I want you to know something. When I washed your motorcycle, I did not armor all those tires. Ha! <laughs> Dear Lord, please, as you do every day, give me the... Ah, forget it! <laughs> Two and a half years building that machine? Yes. Yes, officer, this is Father Mike Weber. I'll continue to hold. Three cases of communion one, business or personal? Two business, one personal. <laughs> Police have had me on hold here for 20 minutes. Why won't they talk to me? Because you rant and rave at everyone. The police, Todd, me. Well, I have a right to be angry. You're a minister. A minister? What? Because I'm a minister, I, I can't lose my temper? Well, I thought that you were supposed to set an example. How do you know? You don't go to church. That doesn't mean that I haven't explored other spiritual avenues. Other spiritual avenues? <laughs> yes, I've been involved in all kinds of alternative religions. Oh. Did any of those alternatives happen to involve ritual bloodletting, animal sacrifice, or dancing naked under a harvest moon? No, if church was that much fun, I'd be there all the time. <laughs> Well, hey, make it next Sunday. It's B-Y-O-C-H. Bring your own chicken head. <laughs> Look, Nancy, you, you just caught me on a bad day. I mean, it's my bike. I'm sorry if I overreacted. Apology reaccepted. But what about Todd? Well, I'll go and find him, and I'll talk to him. Look, for what it's worth, whenever I lose something and it upsets me this much, I just figure it's the universe's way of trying to tell me I was too attached to it in the first place. Wow. That's the dumbest thing I ever heard. <laughs> Todd? Todd, are you here? Todd's not here. Fred? Why are you hiding? I feel safe back here. Well, son, a lot of people feel that way about a church. That's why they call it a sanctuary. I'm just going to sit down and do a little thinking. Can I think too? Sure, have a seat. What are you thinking about? Your motorcycle. Yeah, that's what I was thinking about too. Meredith said that you were so mad you're going to set somebody's neck on fire. Oh, well, that would never happen. I, I was just really upset, you know? Did you know what I figured out? Sometimes when you lose something and you get really angry, maybe that's just God's way of telling you you were too attached to the thing in the first place. Did you try praying? I wouldn't want to bother God. He's got enough to do without worrying about my personal transportation. Well, I'm going to pray. Okay, you, you try praying. Dad! Dad, they found your motorcycle down by the park! Hey, you are good. I'm going to buy a big tent and take you out on the road. <laughs> Time has finally come. It's going to be just you, me, and the moonlight, baby. Dad, you've got to get a girlfriend. <laughs> He's just kidding. It's only you, Electra. So, I hear they caught the guy who stole your bike. Yes, they did. Well... Then I guess somebody owes somebody an apology. Okay, I apologize. You know, Dad, I hear the words coming from your mouth, but I don't feel it coming from your heart. 
<laughs> You're right. Come here, my Dad, child. No. Let me hold you. <laughs> Say, I love my daddy. Dad. Say, I love my daddy. I love my daddy. I hear the words coming from your mouth, but I don't feel the emotion coming from your heart. Dad, you're in a good mood. Is it because you got your bike back or you finally fired Todd? What do you mean, fired Todd? I didn't fire Todd. Well, Todd said you did. He just left for the bus station. Oh. Oh, man. Watch the kids. I'm going to go get Todd. You look really hungry. You want half the egg salad sandwich? I know how you feel. I'm homeless. How long you been homeless? Oh, about 20 minutes. 4.30 already? I better get back to work. <laughs> Busbound for Toledo, Davenport, Des Moines, Omaha, and Wichita. Now boarding at gate three. Todd, what are you doing here? I didn't fire you. Sure did sound like it. No, no, I, I, I didn't, honestly. Everything's fine. The Harley's back. Everything's okay. It doesn't matter, Father Mike. Obviously, I'm not cut out to be a minister. Well, why do you say that? Well, I just keep messing everything up. Look, I once knew a young assistant minister. He had a kind of a shady past. Was in a gang, spent some time in jail. He didn't think he was cut out to do the Lord's work either. Yeah, no wonder. Sounds like a degenerate. That was me, Todd. Should have seen that one coming. I mean, a real minister, he would figure that stuff out right off the bat. Last call for gate three. Thanks for everything, but I'm out of here. No, no, come on. No, save your breath, Mike. Let's I'm going. Let's talk about this. Hey, Todd, for... Father Mike Weber, liturgical emergency. <laughs> Attention. You know who I'm speaking to. You can't just quit life by getting on that bus. You can't run away from your problems. There are too many people counting on you. If you have any backbone at all, you'll tear up that ticket and get back where you know you belong. No, no, not everybody. I was talking to the guy in the red sweatshirt. The rest of you quitters, pick up those tickets and get on that bus. Give me one reason why you want me to stay. Because you got a good heart. And in a world that conspires against goodness, we need all the good hearts we can get. Besides, I think God sent you to me for a reason. Really? Yeah, to test my patience. How am I doing? Excellent. Does that mean I can stay at St. Stephen's? Glad to have you. Oh. That, that, that's fine, Todd. Oh, okay, 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 fine. Sorry, I'm... Get on your nerves so bad. Sorry. No, it's not. Yeah, it is. No, it's not. It is. No, it's really it not. It is. No, it's not. Shut up, Todd. Oh. Oh, I really am sorry about your bike. Ah, uh, it's all right. It's just a possession. The universe is full of those. I think I'm going to turn my thoughts back to more spiritual matters. Good. All right. Bye-bye. Fred, I, I want you to pray to get my bike back like you did earlier. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Hit it again, Fred. <laughs> if it works this time, I'll get you a sidecar. <laughs> I'm sure I miss my motorcycle. However, I take comfort in words from Matthew. Lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven, where neither moths nor rust doth corrupt, 
and where thieves do not break through nor steal. Now that I don't have my bike, I don't have to worry about rust or thieves or insurance, <laughs> which in retrospect would have been a good thing to worry about. <laughs> but hey, Jesus didn't have a motorcycle. He didn't have a lot of stuff. He didn't have a blender. <laughs> he didn't have a universal infrared remote. He didn't have a blow dryer. And his hair looks great in all the pictures. No, he knew what I've learned, that people and forgiveness are more important than possessions. And I'm thankful that all of you are here with me. And as long as I have you all here, if anyone has seen a 1971 Harley-Davidson FLHP police special, please contact me here at the church. There is a reward, a blender, universal infrared remote, and a blow dryer. No questions will be asked.